Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video I want to talk super briefly about just basically what kind of specs and classes you may want to look at for War Within. Now for those of you who don't know, Dragonflight is on its last legs, of course, and uh, what that means is the next expansion is on the way. And when a new expansion comes out, there's always a shift in meta. Sometimes not, sometimes there's a big one. But a big thing with War Within is a new section of talents called Hero Talents. And Hero Talents are very specific in that they are super duper powerful abilities. So with things like Hero Talents, some classes have had dramatic changes. Some classes function completely differently to how they did before and some classes will have quite a big revamp so what i wanted to talk a little bit about is basically some of the top picks you may want to consider for things like raiding mythic plus etc so it's very very much uh all subjective at this point and please remember that a lot of this can change even in the last couple of weeks leading up to the War Within. This isn't a, a list that is going to be uh, entirely, you know, like, how can I say, foolproof? But it is going to be something that I think ultimately at the end of the day will be quite useful for you. So we can obviously split things up. I mean, we're going to talk about tanks, we'll talk about DPS, we'll talk about healers. And a lot of the times as well, you need to understand that content is all different. I'll be mainly talking about PvE content, but essentially, you know, a lot of these units are going to be either good across both or decent across both. I'm going to try and focus on the classes that are going to be good holistically. So, not a class where you're going to be, well, I'm great in Mythic Plus, I'm not too great in Raids, etc. And kind of just focusing on that. But yeah. So let's start with the tanks. And one of the top tanks going into... The next expansion is going to be DKs. The DKs have big changes with Bonestorm mechanics. They have Sandlane and Deathbringer, which are amazing new heroic talents. And essentially, they're just super duper versatile. Um, big, high damage, good tankiness and survivability. And the way they've been reworked means that they're kind of less prone to exploding automatically, which is always uh, really helpful considering how they function before. Alongside them, the other best kind of tanks to look at is going to be Protection Paladin. So Protection Paladin is also going to be a tank that's good in all content. So Templar and Eye of Tear make Protection Paladin really, really solid. Uh, these are the you know really big changes for Protection Paladin, being the new heroic talent. But in terms of uh, you know things like Mythic Plus, they do lack a little bit of the uh, kind of CC versatility and the versatility required to kind of move through different dungeons. So a little bit worse than Mythic Plus, but still really, really good choices overall. And then finally, I think the last really, really good tank. I mean, look, all tanks are really, really good. Uh, I think all, most tanks are pretty good, except for Brewmaster, but let's not talk about that. Uh, I think the last tank for me that really feels... Uh, like it's going to offer some really good stuff uh, is going to be basically the uh, Protection Warrior. So Protection Warrior has Colossus and Mountain King uh, which are really really good for their overall tankiness. It's made them way way stronger uh, in terms of their overall tankiness. Two new big heroic talents that are just going to make them really beefy. They don't have a lot of flexibility because you're kind of forced to take these and you know, thus, as units, they are a little bit, therefore, uh, kind of held back. But overall, still really top choices. And let's talk about the melee DPS. So for me, you know, whenever it comes to DPS, you kind of have to break things up into melee and in terms of ranged. I think it's super important that you have to do this. So let's talk melee DPS. And uh, I just want to highlight... Yeah, a couple obviously, again, DK is looking really, really good. Both Frost and Unholy are looking solid. 
Rides of Apocalypse for Frost looks like it's a real game changer for them. And basically they really do uh, look good on the Unholy side as well. Their Heroic Talents give a lot more synergy to the rotations. Then Retribution Pally continues to look really strong. Um, I think Ret consistently was quite strong in Dragonflight and it continues to be strong, which I think is good overall. And then we have Monk, which I don't even have. So hey, time to make one, I guess. Pandar and Monk, here we come. But uh, yeah, Windwalker Monk is great. Um, they've been completely reworked, which I think is super duper important. Um, and basically it's incredibly good for AoE clear. So it's going to be really strong in both uh, Mythic Plus and in raiding. Then, you know, those are like, when we're talking like melee DPS, uh, I think of course, you know, for most... I guess players um, that kind of feels like a really solid point for them but that's not to say that you know melee DPS are the only like really 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 good ones um, I think melee DPS are solid but there are some really really strong uh, range classes and mage right now is definitely kind of taking the kick uh, mage is feeling very very strong um overall mage is feeling incredibly solid especially fire mage right now uh, warlock is also feeling really good warlock is feeling strong it's feeling very powerful at this current point in time and again is also feeling incredibly reliable uh, overall and then we have devastation evoker which is also feeling really really strong right now so on the range side all kind of four of those are feeling really at the top tier in both the rating and uh, mythic plus and i think they will start off the expansion definitely being the strongest and then finally you know talking about uh the healers so healing you know for me definitely right now kind of split you got obviously mythic plus you've got obviously rating um, I think for me, again, we have to look at units that look good across the board uh, in terms of like overall performance. I think Holy Priest is one of them. Uh, just consistently strong as always. It always is a strong healing class, but especially in this point, definitely feels like a really, really strong one. Uh, Restoration Druid has taken a huge, huge leap uh, with its heroic talents, basically boosting everything about it which i think is fantastic making the dots and just the ability to control your healing flow way better for like druids just in general and then finally i think you know um probably in terms of like best ones holy paladin really solid um great survivability good for both mythic plus and rating just really really good quick heals and just consistent very similar to priest kind of in a way so yeah uh, right now that's probably my top top picks uh, in terms of tanking i probably say prat pally and death knight are looking like your leaders in terms of healing definitely uh, holy priest uh, druid all looking really really good and uh, probably even disc priest is looking really good then i would say beyond that uh, windwalker monk looks solid Fire Mage looks good. Uh, Fury Warrior looks pretty good. So I think there's a lot of flexibility there. But yeah, uh, that's basically it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.